What is up everyone, this is Jake back with another video, and today is that super special, sweet, sexy time of the month, Sketchbox time. Mm-hmm. I am super stoked to open this box, but before we get started, be sure to like, and be sure to subscribe, and be sure to click the bell icon for notifications, it'll let you know when I'm posting a new video. Also, you can check out more of my art on Instagram, at brownjakens, that's B-R-O-W-N-J-A-K-E-N-S, or you can check me out on my Etsy store, and that's just Doomsayer Designs, where I have shirts, I have stickers, I have art prints, I also have two comic books, self-published, DIY till you die, baby, that you can pick up. So yeah, check them out. If not, that's cool too. But let's go ahead and get started with the video. All right, let's get started. Banana cutter, check. Not cutting myself, check. All right, ready? Ooh, what is this? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay, so anytime I see pins in Japanese, I'm like, oh yeah, they're gonna be good. Oh my God, this is, this is nice. Oh, it's the same, uh, I guess it's not the exact same. Just very similar to the last sticker we had. That's fine. I like it. Oh, that piece is sick. That is sick as can be. Look at that. Rodora Jacob. Rodora. What is it? Rodo. Rodo. No, sorry. Rodo Doodle. That's that Instagram. Check her out. That's really good. Oh, man. Yeah, she's awesome. Okay. What kind of paper we got? Let me get everything laid out, and then we'll go over everything. Wow. This is Brush Pen City over here. Look at this. I got one, two, three, four brush pins. I mean, this I guess you could take, it is a brush pin. It's a watercolor marker, but it's got a brush tip. Same thing with this one. This is pretty awesome. Wait, this, yeah, this has a brush tip. Hell yeah. Then I got a little shader brush here. Those are cool, which I'm bad with these. So I, wonder, I thought these are for like dry media. I didn't know these are for like, they like a filbert brush, right? Why don't we just read the information card that comes with it? That might tell me what it is. God, I'm an idiot. Okay, I'm gonna butcher this, but I think these are Akashi Asai watercolor brush pins. So, excellent watercolor brush pens. I can't wait for, oh, actually, it's just these two, just these two. This is an Akashi Asai Thin Line. Um, this is not a watercolor brush pen. So this is good for like textures and things like that. So, ooh, that's gonna be cool. Man, I'm telling you, I love Japanese pens. They're always my favorites. They always have the, they have the best like utensils, the best drawing utensils come from Japan, hands down. Very well. Oh, yes, and the Pentel Micro Brush. If you haven't seen one of these, I have one, and they're awesome. Look at the tip on that. Yeah, I don't know if you it'll, it'll focus. I gotta get a better webcam, this thing sucks. Well, actually, it doesn't suck, it just won't focus. But yeah, this is really good. It's super thin, I like these pens a lot. And then we have a Winsor Newton Pro Marker. All right, this is a watercolor marker. This is cool too. Ooh, it's got a, okay, so it's got the fine tip, got the brush tip, excellent. Man, we got some weird shades here. I'm, I'm gonna like this. So it's gonna have to be heavy red, much like the uh, the picture it gave me. Probably gonna take a cue from them and do like a heavy red picture because that looks really good together. And then we have the Faber Castell watercolor marker. Awesome. Almost like a maroon, like a mauve color. That looks really cool. I like that. And nothing super vibrant. This is kind of cool. These these colors, good good reds and pinks and greens. I think the colors look like they go well together. I'm excited for this. I don't see any like neon blue, so. That's always a plus, because usually it's always these god-awful colors. Well, not with this box, but that's why I canceled Art Snacks, because they love to give you neon colors that don't go good together. Then we have a King Art ink line pen in brown. Oh yeah, big chisel tip bad boy, look at that. Next is a Sketchbox Signature Mop Brush, and as you guys know, I don't really give a crap if a brush is expensive or not. I like cheap brushes. If they work well, I'm fine with them. Sketchbox Signature stuff actually doesn't seem that cheap. It seems a little bit better than your typical like economy brushes. So, And then last but not least, we have the Hanamula Harmony custom size for Sketchbox. And this is uh, watercolor paper. So I'm glad they gave me watercolor paper because I'm gonna have to do some cool mixing with this. But yeah, I'm liking these products. Now let me get these cracked open and we'll test them out. I got a little gnat in my water. He's already dead though, I didn't murder him. But in his memory, we're gonna that's a spider. But we're gonna keep the little gnat in there. We're gonna paint this thing in his memory. Fought well to get out of that completely dry jar, you idiot. God, gnats are dumb. I'm gonna have like a gnat act of this group after me now. Now, see, these are the Akashia Sai. And these are bristle. Okay, this is a bristle tip. I didn't know. Oh man, they flow really good. I like that. Get it real fast, get that dry brush effect. Mm hmm. And they, they, man, I'm telling you, they saturate really well. If you can't see that, look at that. Let's see what this pink looks like. Yes, this is good. That's a good neon pink. This is great. I love this. Man, oh man. These pins are great. I'm gonna have to buy some of these because I've not actually seen this before, this brand at all. I don't know what uh, Akashia Sai. I guess Sai is the brand. Akashia is the, the type of pen, it looks like. Japanese traditional colors. 
Yeah, this these are freaking awesome. I love the way those work, man. Those I'm excited for this. This is gonna be great. Okay, so let's go ahead and try out the other one, which is the greenish looking one. Uh, this is also bristle tip. Mm -hmm. Oh, I like how these colors work together. These look really good together. I think that green and that pink right there look really good. I don't know how long they're going to last because they are very tiny pins. So I have a feeling they might dry up pretty quick. But if they're not super expensive, we'll see. I'll go over the prices a little later. All right, next is the Faber-Castell watercolor marker. Gosh, super, super vibrant. Look at that. Saturates really well. Uh, that's a really good tone going over that red, too. Look at that. Yes, that looks good. That looks good. I'm liking this a lot. I'm digging this a whole lot. Let's try this brown. It's a watercolor pro marker. Um, it almost feels like a like a permanent marker, like a Sharpie or something. Even sounds like it. I like that. Oh, that's neat. So when you use the brush tip, it changes the color quite dramatically. I don't know if there's two separate colors in here, or no, it looks like one color burnt umber, but it's they're very different colors depending on which tip you use. That's really neat. That's really neat. I like that a lot. All right, and then let's try the. King Art ink line pens, the chisel tip brown. I figured this would be really dark. It's weird that it's not. Uh, I like the pen though. It, it, it lines really good, but I would think it just seems like there's too much of this going on. There's too much brown going on. You know what I mean? I have two different shades of brown there. I have another shade of brown here. This right here is almost an in between between the red and the brown. So I mean, I'm not complaining. Just just giving you my thoughts on it. So let's take this brush. Actually, I want to try this. This is going to be really cool. So we're gonna get this. Let's just go. A little bit of water. Let's swap her this way, see what happens. Well, I clearly don't know how to use this. So I wonder if I should pre-mix that. I should mix it first before I... I don't think these are meant to mix all that well. Because you can clearly tell, I mean, obviously the, the one that's watercolor is better for mixing because it's, it's a watercolor. I don't know if these are necessarily meant to mix, these right here. So let me try it this way. Might be using this wrong. Okay, see, look, oh, that's good. Kind of picks up almost all that grain. Okay, I like that. That kind of pretty much dissolves. Oh, this is going to be different. Okay, I'm excited. It's going to be different for sure, but I'm excited. I'm excited. This blends. This blends. So we'll stick with these. The other thing is let's try not to blend them. Unless I blend them, like, you know, out of the, off the paper. I think I got to use a lot of, oh, that's kind of cool though. The little splashes. Yeah, that's cool. I like that. Let's see, does this green blend? No, okay, so we're not gonna blend these. I'm gonna try to keep these solid colors on the paper. But I am gonna blend the crap out of these, I think. So let's go and see how well, this I doubt is waterproof. Um, we'll see, this little thin brush here. But man, these are awesome. Look at the fine lines you can make with these. And you know, you know your boy Jake? You can make you a good black line, that's all I want. Give me whatever colors I can make them work as long as I have a black outline. That's all I care about. Ooh, I like this. These pins are good. And what's cool about them, if you take them and good dry brushing, really good dry brushing, so. Yeah, I like that a lot. Goes right back, saturates really well. Mm-hmm, let's see how uh, watercolory these are. I wish I had some actual art terms in my noggin. I don't really know, oh yeah, that looks great. Okay, so there's gonna be some, definitely some, uh, some shading done with this, and then once that dries, I can go back over and outline it. Oh, this is gonna be good. Okay, I, I'm, I'm feeling good about this. I'm feeling good about this. It might turn out to be an absolute tragic nightmare of an art piece, but, but, I have faith in it. I think I think it's gonna be okay. I think. We're gonna have to try something. I don't know. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get started and try to design something that isn't an absolute pile of garbage. Wait a second, I just noticed something. Um, this looks cool. Nope, never mind, I'm stupid. Yeah, don't worry about it. Ignore what I just said. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and get started on a piece and see if I can make something that doesn't look like an absolute mess. But I think I'm gonna do something cool. We'll see. So for this piece, I didn't really know what I was doing when I went into it. All I know is that I had a plethora of Japanese brush prints in front of me, which means I had Japan on the brain. So I wanted to do something kind of Japanese-like. So I drew this uh, profile picture of what appeared to be kind of like a Japanese guy. He's got the the black hair and the, the top knot. I just thought it looked cool. I've been watching a lot of Demon Slayer lately. It's an anime and the costume designs on that show are incredible. So uh, they do a lot of checkered patterns and stuff like that. So I did that on his costume. 
But after I had the sketch down, I lightly erased it with my kneaded eraser, and once I did that, I took the Pintail Micro Brush Pen and just kind of painted some on the top of this plastic lid, and then I took the water and blended with it and kind of made it more like a watercolor. It, it actually worked really well as a good faint shadowing tool. Uh, I thought it was awesome. I left the skin completely white and then just shadowed it in because I wanted it to pop up more than everything else. Once I had the shadows in, I colored his clothes. Like I said, I did like a black and a red checkered pattern, which I thought looked really cool. And once that was all dry, I took the black pen and started to outline his face and add some details in, drawing his eyes in, his eyebrows, things like that. Give him some character, you know, my favorite part, of course. And honestly, after I had the face done, I kind of wanted to just stop there. Um, but I wanted to use all the products, so I went ahead and colored the background in with kind of the pink, and then I used the brown color, which I think looks really bad. I hate the background in this. I actually really like the subject, but the background looked like trash. And I just did that just so I could use all the products. Oh, and I also colored the eye with the green marker. But it was a really fun little piece to make, and I actually really enjoyed drawing it, and I really liked the actual guy himself, just the background was a little poopy. But now it's time for the part that everyone wants to know, and that's, is it worth it? He's gonna blow! And yikes, yikes, oh yikes. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you no. It was absolutely not even in the ballpark of worth it. I don't know what the hell is going on, but recently, not a single damn box has been worth dog shit. None of them, none of them been worth anything. The last one I got that was even remotely worth it was the smart art box and it was only it, it got by by the skin of its teeth like it was like a, i think like eight or nine dollar value rather than like a five dollar value so sketchbox estimated this box at 45 dollars and 13 cents so they only estimated the box to be five dollars more what you pay for after shipping so that's not a good sign right off the bat but the actual retail price of the box was 38 dollars and 61 cents a whopping three dollar and 61 cent value that's if they send it to you for free, but they don't. They charge you shipping, which is like five bucks. So they charge you $40 to ship it to your house and you only get $38 worth of supplies. Bullshit. Listen, I don't mean to be a bitchy, complaining, whiny ass Chad all the time, but I can't help it. Like my money is precious to me because I have very, very little of it. So I enjoy getting these boxes and I enjoy doing these boxes for this channel, but I really hate getting a box that is worth piss. It's, it's not worth the money I spent on it, which is insane to me. Like, I know people who get those makeup boxes, and they'll spend $25 for a makeup box and get $100 worth of supplies. Now, I'm not wanting that, per se, but I want something more than a $3 value, or in this case, a negative $1.39 value. That is ridiculous. What an abysmal, quote-unquote, savings they supposedly give you. It's, it's insane. I don't understand what's going on. I don't know if it's just... COVID has made supplies go up or whatever it is, but they are being tight ass cheapos on all these boxes and they need to step their shit up or I'm gonna have to turn to something else. Cause this is ridiculous. Okay, I think my rant's over, but it's still, the value is ridiculous. $38.61 for a $40 box is not worth it. So if you haven't been able to tell by now, do not buy this box. It sucks real hard. The products were really fun to use. I actually enjoyed every product in the box. They were all good products. They work pretty well together. Uh, even the paper, and I'm usually pretty harsh on watercolor paper, paper was pretty good. I liked it all, worked all well together. But unfortunately, it wasn't worth the money I spent for it. So, great. Yeah, whatever. Big thumbs down, don't get this box, simply because of the value, because they've pissed me off too many times with stuff being not worth crap. But, yeah, notice how elegant I am when I'm putting something down. I get flustered, I'm sorry. But, like I said, thumbs down for me. Well, that is it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. I do really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed the piece I made, and I hope I helped you decide whether you want to get the box or not. So, if you did like the video, as always, like, subscribe, all that good stuff, bell icon, yada, yada, yada. Also, leave a comment below. Let me know what you'd like to see on the channel. I'm going to try to start taking people's opinion into a bit more consideration. For the most part, I'm kind of deaf to whatever people say, because it's my attention span. Sorry. Someone will make a good suggestion, and I'll be like, oh yeah, that's great, and then I'll just completely forget about it. If you have any ideas of things you would like to see on the channel, just leave me a comment below, let me know, and I'll see what I can do about that. And I will try. No promises, but I'll try. But as always, thank you guys so much. I do really appreciate you, and keep on drawing on. Later. Later.